This used to be a petrol station. Now builders are transforming it into a block of flats because here in North London, there's huge demand for more housing. But in property hotspots like this, supply simply isn't keeping up with demand. During the recession, lenders couldn't lend, so builders couldn't build properties like this, and buyers couldn't buy them. Now the economy is picking up again, there aren't enough homes available. To meet demand, we'd need to build an extra 240,000 a year, but we're only reaching half that target. Within the building site, a show home, a picture-perfect household. So let's take a tour to find out why the dream home remains a fantasy for so many would-be buyers. In the living room, there's an expert with all the answers. The demand a few just a little short time ago, of course, wasn't there. Now there is the demand, but you can't just turn the tap on. If you were suddenly wanting to build 250,000 properties a year, uh, even if you are able to with planning, where's the skills base? But it can be done if there's the political will to do it, if there is the finance to do it, clearly. And I have to say, if there's the backing of all of us, and that we have to accept the fact that there have to be new properties, and those properties might be near me. So I can't just turn around and say, well, not in my backyard. Finding land to build on is a constant challenge. Over in the kitchen is a development consultant who searches for suitable sites like this. He says it's still too difficult to get planning permission. There's a lot more that can be done, but it's still taking far, far too long. Because when you're identifying the land for development, it may take six, nine, twelve or more months to generate a consent and start building, by which time demand may have changed. Is it frustrating for you to see that, to see a potential site that could be made into housing and then come across obstacles? It's hugely frustrating. It's simple economics. When demand outweighs supply, it pushes up prices and that pushes out prospective buyers. For decades, there haven't been enough homes for our growing and ageing population. The government insists its help to buy scheme has increased the number being built, but admits it still has a lot more to do. Rebecca Barry, Five News.